Cause you can! Alright. Guess what? We got the the original right here. Right? The smoking loon. Vione 2012 California 13.5%. So Vione. Uh, this is the first straight Vione I've ever had. So far so good. I'm just gonna top it up a little bit. Um Uh, good news about this, uh, I've had Vione in a, in a red wine blend, it was the Wolf Trap uh, from South Africa, and it had some white wine in with the red wine, which is really cool. Now that I'm having it straight, I can kind of really associate that, which I kind of did before anyway, but here's a color. It's quite, uh, it's quite yellow with a bit of like almost a greenish tinge to it. Uh, so we're packing some heat here. 13.5% white wine. This is going to hit you. At least white wine hits me. And I'm really liking this this grape. Especially th this this uh, product. Smoking loon. It runs all down the glass and stuff here. Sometimes you can see it. And uh, it's got a lot of flavor. It's uh, quite, quite spicy and... Uh, not not too spicy though, and it's got a lot of floral aromas, and it's got a lot of peach type apricot uh, flavors going on. So really, a little bit different if you're just been drinking the Sauvignon Blancs and stuff, the Rieslings. It does have a little bit of that white wine corky stink though. It's still really good. A, lot of, a little bit of burn that really. The acidity really you can feel coming down. Um, it's quite acidic, but like in a good way. And I've left this to breathe for a few hours, and uh, see some major runnage. You're getting that, and it's really good left to breathe for a few hours. Right out of the bottle, it was good too. It was just a little bit extra fresh, zippy, and acidic. A little bit extra powerful, uh, depending on what you like. This is just subdued a little bit. It's perfect now. And the very complex in the floral aromas. It's kind of like when you do walk through a flower shop. It's it's those uh, conglomerations of, of really uh, potent aroma flowers, like not just roses and stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of of uh, floral aromas in this one. This is maybe the most floral wine I've ever had. So, Vione, definitely check out Vione. Well, so far, so good. This one from California is kick ass. So it's it's a little bit it's got a little bit of bitterness to it too. In the finish, it's like a little bit mustardy. I mean, a little bit, um, a little bit like a uh, nasty parts of the fruit. Like we're getting some stem and pits and and different strange things as well. The bitterness, a lot of skin, fruit skins. It's a, it's very like I say the the floral aspect in that aspect and the acidity and the harshness and the spiciness it's kind of got some interesting nasty musky parts to it but it, like in a good way and so I think this is really good to step outside of your Rieslings and your Sauvignon Blancs and things like this your Pinot Grigios and stuff because it's those are pretty like, you know and they're straight up and down kind of compared to this one was it's a very uh, it's, uh, this is just a wild child compared to most of those I've ever had, especially like a Riesling or something. Like, this is just like, whoa. It's, uh, it's a gooder. Um, major props on the mouthfeel of this wine and the smoothness, uh, the texture, the viscosity of this wine is very thick. Um, very smooth uh, in the mouthfeel, very silky. It's really nice, and a, and a, a bit of bit, bitterness, bitterness and acidity in the finish, but there's no real major uh, acid breaks in here that are really gonna. But it, it, it is quite acidic, but it's handling it. You just feel a bit of burn on the way down. Other than that, it's really smooth. I get a little bit of acid up front too. 
Um, but it's, it's really well balanced. This is about 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, I'd say it was worth it. It's not a crap wine. I had uh, one of their other wines I didn't like so much, but this one's really good. Um, major props. Say it's, it's almost a ninety point wine. I, I don't see why not. Like it's it's really complex. It's really exciting. It's always doing different stuff depending on how you're sipping on it and. I see maybe a little little bit little below ninety, but not much. I, I'd say that's like an eighty-eight point wine. And for twenty bucks, I mean, uh, just going for the Vione if you haven't really gone there much or at all. Uh, definitely, uh, if you like white wine at all, this is a this is a fabulous uh, varietal. At least if it's all like this, I mean, this is so more so much more exciting than. Uh, a lot of the Sauvignon Blancs and stuff. I mean, they're good too. They're really nice. But this is uh, bringing a lot of different stuff to the table. Kind of tell us. A little bit heavier of a color too, right? 13.5%. So just imagine all that flavor, all that floralness, and then you jam all that alcohol in there. I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of what we're talking about. So Beer Zerker, 88 points. Um, some badass stuff. And I'm out.